Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika, the channel where we talk about nature love or eco-friendly, sustainable lifestyle, everything about zero waste and being nature friendly. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my real struggles of actually becoming more of low waste person, sustainable person, eco-friendly person. Now personally, I'm not a complete eco-friendly person or low waste person because I still do create waste, which I feel like I shouldn't be creating a one. But there are a lot many struggles with that. So I'm going to be real with you guys and going to share these struggles. Hopefully you can relate to it. And if you have any solutions to deal with these struggles, let me know in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get started with that. Before go back, consider clicking the like button, guys. I do appreciate that. If you want more such a way future, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever I'm going to upload new videos, you're going to get notified about it. Also, I have a sustainability planner, the PDF workbook that will going to help you track your sustainability life to low waste or zero waste lifestyle, whatever you call it. The link is in the description box below. It's a PDF download. You can very well grab it. Now though, I'm gonna be driving into the struggles. The struggle number one, <laughs> being myself an artist, I love art. I love trying new medias. I love creating art and trying the new stuff. So whenever I see new art medium, I wanna give it a shot. And when I go onto the Amazon or onto the online space to buy that particular art supply, I look at, first of all, whether it's a zero waste, eco-friendly or not. And most of the art supplies I find online are not at all eco-friendly. Of course, there are growing consideration and many of the brands are going more eco-friendly like eco-raising or eco-acrylic paints or eco-watercolors, but still I feel there is a lack of the stuff. I was looking at the epoxy raisin. I do came across the eco-poxy raisin. That is eco-friendly, but I wasn't really able to access that material. So that is the one biggest struggle being an artist becoming more eco-friendly. The second struggle which I feel myself is actually I'm approaching and transitioning into the vegan stage. Now this one is related to more to the vegan, not just to eco-friendly or zero waste, but I think it could be more applicable because again, I want to just share. <laughs> so that struggle is like finding the right kind of stuff to actually eat. When you are transitioning into the vegan, when you are buying a product or when you're buying a food item from the restaurant, you want to ask them, is it really vegan? What are the materials it contains? Should I eat this or should I don't? I mean, that was a, one of the biggest struggles, especially when I was traveling. Like last week I was traveling and I had this great struggle of actually following the vegan lifestyle, the vegan food item, because it was really hard at times to find the vegan food restaurants. So it was a great struggle for me. Of course, it's related more to the vegan, but I thought that it would be relevant. The biggest struggle of me thinking about becoming more sustainable is about the clothes. Yes, now you would be thinking about the clothes. Yes, if you're becoming more sustainable, you have to buy less and buy only those things which you really, 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 really need in your life. And I practically love the clothes. I love wearing different style of the clothes, different items, different jewelries, different accessories. So I was looking of purchasing something new because I want something new in my wardrobe. And then I was like, no, I'm on sustainable lifestyle. So I couldn't buy anything which I don't really need it. So that was a struggle I really, really had a lot many times when I feel like I want to buy something and then I stop myself telling myself, hey, it's not eco-friendly. Hey, you are actually being on a sustainable lifestyle. You can't purchase are hey this and that you shouldn't be purchasing and i was like i want to purchase it i really want that but i shouldn't be because of its sustainable lifestyle because of the eco-friendly so that is another great struggle you have to actually control your desires control your desire to buy new items especially the clothes the accessories the jewelry item which i pretty much love so the struggle is actually the nail paints that i'm having I'm wearing the nail paints right now. It's actually vegan, very, very vegan, uh, chemical free. But finding this kind of a nail paint was really a struggle for me. I think this one is more specifically related to the female. If you're looking for purchasing a beauty products or cosmetic items or any kind of the items that you want for your skincare and you're looking forward to one and you're looking at and reading the ingredients that have that is there in that particular product it's really really hard at times to find the vegan eco-friendly products for me finding the nail paints that i want specific shade 
only that specific shade in the eco-friendly the vegan that was really hard for me to find i mean it took me a little bit more time to actually do the research online and find the right kind of product and i was looking on the amazon because i thought that amazon is the biggest store on this planet so it would be having the more varieties but i was shocked that i didn't find much of the shades which i was looking into into the vegan struggle if you are a female or anyone who's looking forward to purchase the cosmetic products the beauty products that could be a little bit struggle for you because it's a struggle for me for today's video hopefully you find it useful let me know what you think in the comment section below do you want more such videos i would really love to hear from you if you find any solution related to these struggles i would really love to hear from you thank you so much for tuning in today's video i'll gonna see you in the next one until then take care bye guys